Hey guys, let me show you how you can easily change the color of your artboard, color of your backdrop in Affinity Designer version 2. I'm using the desktop version, but the process is quite similar on iPad. So here I am in a brand new project and you will usually see this white artboard. There's nothing in the layer section, so there's no way to really adjust the backdrop color right now. But if you switch to the artboard tool, you can insert artboard don't worry it will not add a new page to your work it will simply kind of unlock this first page is already here all right so as you can see the background color around the artboard changed slightly and the artboard now appears in my layer panel so now if i select this artboard one i can fill it with any color i need and of course, if you need more pages in your document, you can keep adding artboard. So if I click insert artboard again, I will get a brand new artboard next to it, like page number two. Let's undo that. So that's the way of changing the artboard, changing the page background color. First, you need to kind of unlock it with the artboard tool. And then when you select the artboard, you will be able to modify the color using simply the color wheel on the right side. Another approach is to simply draw additional shapes. So if I use a rectangle tool with a certain color inside, I can use that as kind of the backdrop shape. So you can stretch that all around, lock it, so you cannot select this anymore. And now this is your backdrop shape. It's very handy, especially if you kind of want to make some colors. So you got like one background color here, and then you draw another shape below with a bit different color and then you can kind of group it all together and lock it as your backdrop okay so that's the method number two and in case of working on pngs and you desire to have a transparency then you need to head to document setup so click somewhere outside the artboard head to document setup and in the color section, you can turn on transparent backdrop. OK. And then when you insert a new backdrop, because I changed the color of this one already, so I can change this to transparency. If you got this generic white backdrop, it will change to transparency right away. You will see this checkerboard indicating transparency so if you design something on the backdrop like that it is really easy to export as pngs without the backdrop all right so that's how you can adjust the backdrop color in affinity designer i hope this video was helpful see you in the next tutorial bye